Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be adding some mixed numbers with whole numbers and fractions. Now, sometimes when you're at school, you get these problems and they're written like this, like four and one fourth plus three and five eighths. And what I like to do is rewrite it. So I put four and one fourth right here and then three and five eighths. It's just easy for me to work this out. So right now I'm going to go ahead and erase this part right here. And then my first step is I like to get the denominator to be the same. This is the denominator, that's the numerator, and that's the whole number right here. I want to just kind of get the denominator the same and it, didn't, it just makes adding it so much more easier. But they got different denominators. This one is a 4 and that one is an 8. Now as you can get more experience doing this, um, right away you can just kind of like see what's going to work out. So I know that both of them I can use the multiples of 8. But otherwise, if you want to find the least uh, common multiple, so you could always just write out 4 and 8 right here, and then do multiples of 4. So 4 times 1 would be 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 1 here is 8. And you can see right here that the least common multiple that they both share in common is a 8. So I'm going to change this right here to an 8. So I'm going to put my equal sign right here, and then put... 8. And remember, whatever you do with the denominator, you have to do the same thing with the numerator. So what times 4 equals 8? 2. The 2 d to 2. So I take times 2 here. And again, whatever I do here, I need to do the exact same thing here. So times 2 right there. Now, I'm not messing with the whole number right now. We're going to do that in a little bit. We're just working just with the fraction. So 1 times 2 equals Two, right here. Now, one fourth equals two eighths. The, the value of that does not change at all. All right. Now, I'm going to keep this one just five eighths. So now my problem is four and two eighths plus three and five eighths. Now, if you get a little messed up, you can always rewrite it. So I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite this so you can see this right here. So I have four and two eighths plus 3 and 5 eighths, all right? Now, you can see this is easy to work with. All I have to do now is add my numerators first. So I go 2 plus 5 equals 7, all right? So I'm going to put uh, 7 right here. And then my denominators, if they are the same, keep them the same. All right, so I put my denominator right here, 8. And then 4 plus 3, these are whole numbers, all right? So 4 plus 3 equals 7 right here. So I put 7 right there. After I do this, now I look to see if my numerator is smaller than my denominator, which it is, and then I, I check to see if I need to simplify it, and I don't. This is my answer right here. Now check out my other videos on this channel right now, um, and I do have some problems working with mixed numbers, and when you get to this part, sometimes the numerator is bigger than the denominator, and that's where we have to use some division, and also sometimes we need to simplify it more. But this one, don't have to do a thing with it. Hey, thanks a lot for joining the show today. Before you go, could you take a look at that link right there? That's to my new channel called Dino Math. I would sure would appreciate it if you can go over there and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get that channel taken off. We're having so much fun on that, working with uh, uh, animation with dinosaurs, um, just having a lot of fun shows with dinosaurs and Beyblade X's, mathematics. It's just so much fun, but I need your help and your support to hit that subscribe button to make that channel successful, and also to hit the subscribe button to this channel too. We're almost to 100 thousand subscribers. Woohoo! I cannot wait. Um, thanks again for all your support. Get outside, do some playing. We'll talk to you later. Adios! Goodbye.